Hi everyone and welcome back to Clever Patch Craft Noons. Today we're going to be doing a lovely commemoration craft. I thought we could make these folded paper wreaths that are perfect for Anzac Day which is happening next week on the 25th of April. Now these wreaths are great for hanging on your door or popping in your window for Anzac Day as we remember and pay respect to those who have served our country. For this craft, we're only going to need a few basic materials. I've created a free template, which you can download from our website. There's a link in our description. So just head there and you can download the free template and print it out on some regular copy paper or some sturdier paper if you happen to have that on hand. Something around a 120 to 160 GSM is great. But again, if you've just got copy paper, that's totally fine. Then all we're going to need is some embroidery thread or string, a pair of scissors, some clear sticky tape and something to decorate our template with. So I will be using our Clever Patch markers, but you can use whatever you have on hand at home. All right, I think that's it. Let's jump into it. So download and print your template. And the first thing we want to do is decorate our template. So I've used some markers and decorated my template. So you can see I've left this outside part of the wreath uh, blank. But that's because when we cut our shapes out, we're actually going to fold the inside triangles over to the other side. So this will be the back of our wreath and we're not going to see it. You can decorate that if you like. I've just left that one blank. So once your template is decorated, each of the three pieces, we're going to use our scissors to cut our pieces out. So adult supervision is recommended when using our scissors just to avoid any accidents. So we just want to cut around the outside of our circle. We're not worried about any of these lines inside just yet. And then with our two poppy pieces, you will notice some solid lines coming down inside the poppy as well. And we actually want to cut down those solid lines as well. So be sure to cut all the way around the black solid lines. Okay, so we have our three pieces of template and we're gonna pop the poppy pieces to the side and focus on our wreath to start with. And you'll notice there's solid black lines dividing up this inside part of the wreath. And what we wanna do is fold our circle in half along one of these lines. But we don't want to fold all the way across the wreath. So to do that, we're going to flip the wreath over, find that center line and just pinch down in the middle and then oh, make sure we're on that line, crease out towards the edge but not all the way. So we're just creasing along our decorated part here. Now we are folded in half. You can see three solid lines. And we're going to cut down those. One, two, Three. So now we have four little triangles and when we open 
our wreath back up. All we need to do is cut these final triangles apart down that solid line that we folded along. There we go. So we now have all our triangles free and we're going to flip our wreath over and fold these triangles back along that straight edge. So just folding them out one at a time. Like so. And now we can use these triangles as a guide for decorating the wreath underneath. So you could actually disregard the triangles all together and decorate that wreath how you want. But I'm going to use the triangles as a guide and make a nice pattern with my wreath. So here's what I did using those triangles and then filling in with opposite facing triangles to create a lovely pattern. Now our wreath is completely decorated. We want to mount and fold the tip of each of our triangles. So we just want to bend the tip over, giving it a mountain fold. You can see going up like that means mountain. And then we're going to bend our triangle over so that the folded tip sits flush on the back of our wreath. And then we want to take some clear tape and tape it in place. So we can bend or curve that triangle up so it's a nice arch over our wreath. So I'm just going to continue that again mountain fold the tip, give the triangle a nice curve over, hold the bent tip flat on the back of our wreath and add a little bit of tape to hold it in place. So our wreath is really starting to take shape. What you need to do now is continue all the way around your wreath, bending the tip, curving the triangle over and sticking it in place with our tape. So once you've gone around to all of your triangles and they are taped in place, your wreath should look like this. Now it's time to add our poppy to the center of the wreath. First, we want to cut a 40 centimeter length of embroidery thread. And we're just going to turn our wreath over and I'm going to attach one end of the embroidery thread to the bottom of the wreath. So just use our tape to hold that one in place. We want to stretch it up to the top, straight up to the top. So we have a nice straight line and you want it to be nice and tightly pulled across the center of the wreath. So we don't want it to be loose. We want that to be nice and tight. 
So we're going to use a small bit of tape. And while we're holding that tightly across, just use the tape to stick that down. Now with this extra thread at the top, all we want to do is loop that over so that the loose end comes back down behind the wreath. And then we'll just tape that in place to create a hanger so we can hang our finished wreath on our door or in our window. So now we have our beautiful wreath. We have this nice length of thread down the middle. And now we need to attach our poppy pieces. So we're going to slide the large full poppy piece underneath our thread. And remember the lines that we cut down when we were cutting out our shapes. We want to actually move the thread so that it is through or between the slits that we cut. So it's like the poppy's almost holding on to our embroidery thread. And we're just going to tape that in place like so. And we're going to take our last poppy piece and we want to attach it in the middle here. To do that, just take a small piece of sticky tape and loop it over so that you now have a piece that is sticky on all sides. We're just going to pop that in the center and then stick the poppy piece on top. Now you can bend the petals upwards to give that poppy a nice 3D look. And now we have our finished folded paper commemoration wreath. Well, I hope you've all had a wonderful time today creating your folded paper commemoration wreaths. Be sure to pop them on your door or hang them in your window for Anzac Day next week and send us a photo of your creations. We love seeing the craft that you are making out there as well. If you did enjoy our free template today, be sure to sign up for our weekly emails. We have loads of free templates available online and are constantly coming up with new ideas to share with you. Well, that's it for today. So until next time, happy crafting.